Welcome to Precision Weight and Balances. We're making this video here specifically for the gun and ammo people. Um, they always want their balance set up in grains. And so this is the new Sartorius Entrance Series. And out of the box, the balance is set up for grams as the primary weigh mode. So all this information is in the user manual on how to change the configuration of the balance. But I'm going to hopefully go through this video and show you how to do it. I'll do it twice for you so that you guys can uh, understand how to configure the balance and you can watch the video and again refer to your user manual. Overall, I guess I'd have to say for myself, it's very easy to configure the balance since I'm used to dealing with Sartorius. Now again, we have precision weighing balances and we're an authorized Sartorius dealer. We're making this video, hopefully, to support, the, you know, to help the people that buy the balance from us. So please, visit our website, either scaleman.com or balances.com. I'm Gary Shane, and we'll just put the business card right on the balance, just for the heck of it. So you notice the balance is in grams in the lower right-hand corner. So to configure the balance so that it weighs in grains all the time, we need to change the configuration of the primary weigh mode. To do this, we need to get into the application functions of the balance. And this is simply done by first selecting the Select Menu button. So you have to press and hold it down. You'll see the word Application. Now, you're going to press the select menu button four times until you see setup. So press it once, it states input. Press it twice, info. Language. Now we're at setup. So once you see setup on your screen, you now want to press the enter key twice. So we're going to get in, basically, we're in the setup function. Now we need to enter that setup menu. So you press it once. You press it twice, and it's going to say ambient. At that point, you want to press the select menu button five times. So once, twice, three times, four, five. The fifth time, you're going to see unit weight. We now need to go into this menu and change the configuration. So you're going to press the enter key, or you'll notice there's an arrow here, we now want to enter that menu. You'll notice it states grams, and there's a circle here. That circle designate that the balance is in grams, and you want to change it to grains. So what you want to do is you're going to press the select menu button, and it's going to let you toggle between the way modes, or, or see the way modes that are available. So you're going to press once it says kilograms, that's not what we want. Carats, pounds, ounces, troy ounces, teal, Singapore teal, Taiwan teal, now grains. Got an ammo, guys, that's what you want. You want to be weighing in grains. So now you need to store the value. To store the value, you need to press the Enter key. And when we do that, we're going to see a circle here designating that we have now stored that value for grain. So we press the Enter key and notice the circle right here. If you don't have that circle, then it's not going to store the value. So now we have the weigh unit. The primary weigh unit for this balance is set up, as in, it is set up in grains. And we now need to go back to the regular startup. So we have to get out of the configuration mode. To do that, you want to press clear function. And basically, we're just in a deep menu tree, so we have to press the clear function about four times. So we keep on pressing it. And now the balance resets. And when the balance resets, you'll notice it's now in grains. So we're going to press the tear button. And the way unit is grains all together. And we'll just put my business card on here. And again, you'll notice that this balance goes to 0 0.002 grains. That's what it increments in. So we put the business card on there. 
And so you'll see the business card weighs 14.3, uh, 14.20 grains. If we shut off the balance, well, first we'll take the business card off. Tear the balance. We'll just, we'll just shut off the balance. So you notice with the balance, we're shutting off the balance, but there's still power coming to the balance because it's in standby mode. And this is how you want to always leave your balance. Leave it plugged in because there's always a warm-up time. So the on-off here is basically powering your display or powering up the whole unit. You want to leave it in standby. So when we press the on-off button, it powers up, and you'll notice now the way unit is grains. So again, I'm going to go through this one more time for you. I'm going to convert it back to grams. It's just the same thing. So again, let's go through this. You're going to press and hold the setup menu. You'll see application. When you see application, you want to press setup. Four, uh, you want to press the select menu four times. One, two, three, four. You'll see the word setup. At that point, you want to hit the Enter key twice. One, two. Now, you'll see the word ambient. You want to press the select menu five times. One, two, three, four, five. You'll notice now it says unit weight. So now we want to get into that menu. We hit Enter. You notice it says grains. Let's go back to grams now. So how do we do that? We're going to press the select menu to go through the weight modes. You'll see penny weight, milligram, uh, teal, Chinese teal, mummies, Australian weight unit, toll, another weight unit, another weight unit, tons, pound ounces, newtons, user defined, grams. So now we're going to store the value, we're going to set it back up in grams, which is what the balance came in. Notice it says grams, there's no circle here, we need to store that value. We simply press the Enter key. Notice the circle there. The grams is now stored. We now want to leave the Setup menu. To do that, we're going to press the Clear Function key. Again, we're in a deep menu tree, so we have to press this like four times to get totally out. And now the balance resets. And this time, the balance is in grams, just how the balance comes when it's delivered from Satorius. We'll put on that business card again, and lo and behold, this time the business card is saying that it is 939 uh, milligrams. So that's 93, 0.9388 grams. But you don't want grams, you want grains. You're a gun and ammo guy. So how do we change the wave mode? We're going to go through it one more time, and again, you can review your user manual. I'm just trying to help you. So trying to eliminate that phone call saying, hey, you know, the balance does not work. It does not go in grains. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Watch the video. Play it in slow motion if you have to. So again, we're going to set it up in grains. You want to press and hold the select menu. You will see the word application. You want to press the select button four times. One, two, three, four. You'll see the word setup. You now want to press the enter key twice. One, two. You'll see the word ambient. When you see the word ambient, you now want to press the select key five times. One, two, three, four, five. You now see weight unit. We want to change the weight unit so it always weighs in grains. We want to enter that menu, so you have to hit enter. You'll see grams. You'll see the circle here, meaning that grams is the weight unit. You want grains. How do you do it? You press the select menu to go through all the available weight units. Kilograms, carats, pounds, ounces, troy ounces, teal, Singapore teal, grains. So there's grains. Now look. If you pass grains for some reason, you're in that menu, just keep on pressing. It's going to go all the way through these weigh units, and you can scroll all the way back until you see grains. So there it is, grains. And what do you do to store that value? 
you got to press the enter key because there's no circle here designating that the grains is the stored weigh unit. Press the enter key. Notice the zero there. Now it's in grains. Now we need to get out of the setup menu. How do we do that? We press the clear function. We have to press it like four times. One, two, three, four. The balance resets. When it resets, we're going to be in grains. You notice up here it says grains. We'll take off that business card again and hit the tear key. And there you have it. So now the balance is configured in grains. Very simple to do. Again, you can review your user manual. I hope this video was helpful. Have a great day. If you have any uh, questions, please visit balances.com. You can download the user manual right from our website or scaleman.com.